Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I have a very exciting unboxing for you guys today. Here is the box. I know it doesn't, I mean, you probably cannot tell what it is yet, but you can probably tell from the title. I'll probably put it in the title. But it is a Hermes unboxing. And as you can tell, I already take off the ribbon, so it's not a real unboxing. But as I've previously mentioned though, like some of my items, they don't come in that pretty white box. So sometimes you will get a regular basic parcel box like that, less exciting. But that's not what matters. What matters is what's inside the box. And I mean, I'm not going to pull back the ribbon at this point. Um, but you know, it's all well tied up once you open. And um, you guys know I've recently started this whole like online um, buying from Hermes website. And it's definitely a new obsession of mine because they're hard to get. Items are truly, truly hard to get. If you follow my channel from the very beginning, you guys know I'm all about those online hard to get items because I did a whole series on Louis Vuitton items and those were really, really fun to buy. But um, I feel like Hermes, it's totally on a different level because you, you, especially in Canada, I don't know if you live in Canada or in some other country, we have like, you know, maybe two bags every three days or something like that, which is, you know, considered a lot. Um, generally speaking, every day there's like very, very little that gets restocked, um, especially bag type things. Um, you even like, I, I mean, a lot of this obviously has to do with the current situation. Um, prior to the pandemic, you will be able to get Bastia and Calvi card holder easily online. I got one, my, my husband got one for my birthday in the gold color, um, not that long ago, maybe, was it last year, last last year, but like it was always available and now Bastia's Carvey's, Carvey Duels are always hard to get. Um, and then some other items like Evelyn and uh, Pickleton, Pick, I mean, there's just no way to even like add them to card or even actually seeing them would be a, um, a fun day for a lot of people. So, I mean, I want to do a separate video about how I managed to score some of these things. But today, let's focus on this little thing. And I've actually got a few other items here. You might be able to guess what I have or I'll leave it in the title regardless. Let's open it up and then we can chat about it. So, the beautiful orange box. They have their paper. And this one has a little bit of crumbling of the paper going on, so I feel like it's not a fresh, fresh item. It might be one that was already in the boutique, got shipped around or moved around quite a bit, and then got in my hands. But, you know, it's I don't mind that per se, as long as the item is in pristine condition. And it is. So the Hermes dust bag. It's a tiny item, as you can see. But... It's a glorious item regardless. <gasps> Look, it's the Constance Slim. So um, if you are familiar with the brand or if you're just, even if you're just like new to the brand, you would know that Birkin, Kelly and Constance are the three bags that are um, hard to get or uh, not possible to get online. I didn't show you guys the receipt envelope, but I feel like at this point you've seen quite a few of them from my channel at least. Um, so a constant being one of the bags and a lot of people, because of how difficult it is to get a constant, they opt for this constant slim and use it as a micro bag by adding on a strap to it, which I'll show you guys in a bit as well. But it's in this beautiful ever color, um, leather which is the same leather that I had on the mini 2424 it is a grain leather but it's very very soft it's slightly more expensive than the Epsom leather um, so this one obviously you know like all the leather good it'll come in different variety of leathers and colors um, lately a lot of the slims are in the ever color leather and um, I think previously a lot of them are in Epsom leather I personally still think Epsom Lotto would probably be the best option just because it's um, going to be a lot more durable. And uh, um, I just feel like, you know, with these wallet SLGs, it would make sense. But I feel like Evercolor uh, leather, it would still be okay because the grains, it is quite soft, but it's better than Swift. Swift is like a smooth leather. 
So this one is actually, um, what is the color called? Blue. Let's open the receipt. It's like a navy color, but it's not that indigo color that a lot of um, a lot of people were into for a while. It's called. Let me just tell you right now. Oh, it's called blue sapphire. So this is the blue sapphire on the outside, and inside is actually called blue France. So blue France is the inside pouch because this is actually a bicolor constant slim. So you have the belt in there to protect the flap and this is the blue fronts color which is quite is a lot more blue this is more of a navy color it's actually somewhat similar to my mini i'll go bring it it's kind of a similar color to my chanel mini actually no i totally lied look i think that's the cool thing about blue it's just like you 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 picture them to be somewhat similar and they're like not similar at all. My uh, my blue my mini has a kind of a gray tone undertone to it, um, green green gray undertone to it. But it's you know it's one of my favorite. I use it quite often. Um, anyways, back to the sim. So the inside is also ever color in terms of leather. It's a very subtle little pouch. It just has an H logo at the tip of the zipper. The zipper, I love the design of zipper, which shows clasp because it's not loose. It's not like there is actually a little mechanism where you can like keep it in place. And it does have the Almez engraving on it. Very beautiful. I, I, You know, these little details shows you the next level of craftsmanship on these products for sure. And if you open up, it has a stamping here, made in France. I'm not sure if that will show. And it's a little pouch. Fully lined, leather lined. This will be your little coin pouch, right? Um, but if you put this coin pouch in here, there is very little space in here. So the the H buckle, again, I thought there will be some kind of mechanism to open it. But for the slim, you just like open it with, I think it's just ma magnetic closure. On both sides, maybe the real Constance buckle. I think there's a little button for you to unhook, but I'm not sure about that. And here is the stamp made in France. There is two card slots inside, right here. And if you're wondering, the stamp is in the middle, in the back of the, like right here, inside the pocket. And of course the the most kind of interesting aspect of the slim is that you're able to put it on a belt so it will become like a belt bag like so i can actually use this to show you guys so really cool um let me go check on the door i'll be right back okay i'm back so uh I think this is a little verse, like a really cool versatile piece if you're looking for a, well, if you are into micro bags. Um, oftentimes people are not, you know, like not everyone can deal with that because obviously it doesn't fit a phone or anything. It can fit, um, it actually doesn't even fit your regular card holders, which let me see if I have one here to show you guys. But um, so you have to put the cards in loosely. I do have a few things I can demonstrate, which is good. So this is the regular kind of your basic card holder. I'll show you guys. It would not go in. Similar to the concept of uh, like other micro bags, really. So this actually is okay. Sorry, I totally lied. <laughs> the basic card case is okay. And you can maybe squeeze in a mask. That's fine. Let's see if the Santa Hole sanitizer works as well. Yeah, you can squeeze in your sanitizer as well. It's actually not bad. It looks like this. And it's kind of cute once it's like a little bit more expanded. Um, looks more like a little bag. So let me show you guys. I have my sort of belt um, here. I will go through the loop here and see how that looks like. I probably should do this before before I stuff it with things. So I'll show you guys what's in here again. There is a card holder. 
a hand sanitizer, a full size, and my mask. My silk mask. So I think it's not bad. I mean, what else do you really need these days to go out with? I mean, um, the next thing would be your phone and your car keys, but um, those will obviously be a little trickier to um, to stuff in. I mean, you could probably opt out the sanitizer for the um, for a car key or something. Okay, I'll just do it quickly to see. How does this look like? It's actually pretty okay, I think. It's kind of cute with the skirt that I'm wearing right now. What do you guys think? Yeah. I like it. Doesn't actually look too small for a belt bag. And it's actually quite nice to access this way as well. It's pretty cool. Okay, I have not tried this. Obviously, you guys can tell I did not try this before. I'm filming it. Okay. So if you have any kind of belt or you have a belt dress like this one that I'm wearing right now, you can definitely do that. Um, and then, obviously... If you want, you could add on a strap and there's actually a bunch of um, converters online that you could use to like you can purchase where you slide in the card holder into the card holder slot and it gives you a uh, hook to the strap, which I think is quite a good idea. So this is just my strap that I'm just putting on. It's actually my strap from my um, the Chiquito bag. And this becomes a little crossbody bag. The strap is black. You can obviously do whatever strap color you like. Um, and you can either purchase the strap converter or you can do what I did, obviously. But if you do it that way, it's harder. It's actually not going to be able to for you to use the bag. Um, or I actually also have similar bag, uh, the Celine that I pur recently purchased, I thought these will be a nice comparable. So this is the size compared to the Celine, but obviously you can see Celine is quite a bit wider on the side, but because it's actually narrower, it's more of a square shape and this is more of a rectangular shape. This one, the card holder doesn't actually fit. So I'll show you guys here. So you can't really, oh, actually, it fits now. I feel like when I first got it, it was harder for the card holder to go in. Um, and it fits about the same amount. I would say it fits maybe slightly more. You can maybe squeeze in another like lip product or something, but overall, it's about the same. Okay, even though it's a bit wider. Because, I mean, honestly, they're just tiny micro bags that doesn't really fit anything in general. Um, let's put on the strap from Celine. I'll show you guys how this will look like. You can mix match the colors. I think, actually, the navy goes quite nicely with the sort of brown gold color, similar to the orange that I'm wearing right now. This is actually slightly longer longer length so I think this is kind of your next closest thing to a to the constants um, you know actually having a constants is a lot more pricier and a lot of a, a much longer weight so if you want the H buckle and a similar look they are in a similar shape there is a lot of comparison in terms of sizing from this to the mini constant. So you can also use those as references. Um, I also just like took out my other little micro bags because it's definitely a thing right now, right? Like you, there is even the Chanel card holder bags, which is gonna be this big. So if you compare the size of the two, it is actually quite a bit bigger. I mean, in terms of card holder, you definitely wouldn't be able to fit anything in there. 
I also have my Chiquito, which I want to just compare the size as well. It's actually bigger, slightly bigger than the Chiquito, and it actually probably holds more than the Chiquito because the Chiquito does not hold a card holder whatsoever. And this is a mini size um, Bambino bag from Jacquemus as well. So this is kind of my collection of micro useless bags, I guess. <laughs> and a good thing is a lot of these, there's a lot of type of converters out there that you can use to, you know, um, to design it or to add them with different straps. You can style them different ways. This one, I think it's extra. The extra bonus would be the belt buckle in the back, which is really, really nice. And I think the way that I just wear right now, I really like that. So yeah, sharing this cutie with you guys today. Let me know what you guys think. Lastly, before you guys um, turn off the video, the big hesitation or big factor for me is this little bag actually costs close to $4,000 Canadian, which is insane. It's about 38 uh, after tax. So, I mean, depends how you look at it. If it's a, I mean, if you compare it to the actual Constance price, this seems to be like a reasonable price. But if you compare it to like a wallet or small SLG, it is still quite pricey. I mean, this, um, the Celine bag, which is quite similar, is half of what this one cost. So that's another big consideration. But after all, I mean, it is Hermes and it is a, you know, um, a quality piece. And it does have a little pouch that comes with. So it's kind of a two-in-one kind of deal. Um, but again, depends on how, like your lifestyle and how you use your bags and things like that. But introducing these to you and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.